Hey guys and welcome back to a new, new video on this channel. So some of you guys told me that hey you don't have a clear tutorial video on how we can set up multiple chatbots, different chatbots on different pages from our site. So because of this I am making today this tutorial video to help you guys set up multiple chatbots on multiple pages from your site. So I will be using AIOmatic for this link in video description. If you already if you haven't already grabbed AIOmatic link in description. So I will be using the AI chatbot menu and the custom chatbot builder tab. This will be the feature that I will be using today and I will be showing you guys how to set this chatbot up to allow multiple pretend data so multiple chatbots will have multiple personalities and uh, you can create any number of chatbots you wish so let me jump straight into this and go to AI chatbot menu and click on custom chatbot builder tab and here you will be greeted with a short code similar to this so this will be the short code which will be needed to be copied but first let us customize it so here in the chatbot temperature toppy presence penalty and frequency penalty be sure to set 1100 this is because if you don't set this then the default value for a temperature will be used which means that an uh, input field will be shown on the front end where users will be able to select the temperature of the chatbot and in most cases you don't need this so set the value for this select also the model that you wish to use for the chatbot also the chatbot context is very very important this is the almost the most important thing that you need to set up so here you can um, tell the chatbot something that you want it to know so um, this message will not be displayed to users so here you will be able to tell the chatbot that you are a CEO expert your name is Carl B professional and uh, make a make um, and uh, respond to all questions very accurately okay so this is just something from the top of my hand and you can set also a name for the users and the name for the AI. This also will not be displayed to the users on the front end. This will help only <coughs> the AI understand better that what, which user um, told what and which was the message from which come, came from the AI. So in this case, let's set user and uh, let's actually write here car. Okay, and first message of the use of the um, AI. So hello, what is your question today? So something similar. And you can enable instant responses to not enable the chat, the typewriter effect in the chat responses. And you will have more customizations for looks, for the submit button, for colors, and also some settings for the chatbot. You can inject globally to your site and so on. You can set the location, but I will be not be touching this and after i made these changes so here it is this is the short code that i need to copy so i made these changes and now be sure to click outside the settings field so after you make your last change here click outside anywhere here on the web page and then the short code will be automatically edited by the plugin and all we have to do is copy this add a new page and let's say chatbot1 
and simply paste the shortcode here. If you are using um, Gutenberg, be sure to add it in a shortcode block. So in this case, write here shortcode and select the shortcode block and paste the shortcode here. So let's publish this, view it on the page. And here it is. Hello, what is your question today? And we can ask him, what is your name? And my name is Carl. So he knows his name is Carl. Okay, so now let us create another chatbot and add it to another page. So for this, we can um, change settings directly here. You are a gardening expert. Your name is uh, Francis. Okay. So this is just an example. Be sure to modify also this. Don't forget about this because it can confuse the AI if you provide different information here. Okay, so this was just some quick editing and we edited also the shortcode. And all we have to do is select it, copy it and go to editing, add a new page, chat bot 2. Add the shortcode block, paste our shortcode, publish it and we can view the page. What is your question today? What is your name? My name is Francis. And he is actually asking about gardening questions because he knows that he's a gardening expert. Okay, so this is how you will be able to add multiple chatbots to your pages. Simply go to the chatbot builder and set up here info. Be sure to use the chatbot context to add context to the chat and to the AI writer so it knows what is his purpose, what is his name and what is... Uh, you can tell anything, you can instruct any additional information to the chatbot and simply copy after clicking anywhere, copy the shortcode that was created and paste it to a new page. Also, what is very important to say is if you want to use this feature, so if you want to add multiple chatbots to multiple pages, please be sure to set the inject chatbot library to your site from the chatbot website injection to off because currently only a single instance of the chatbot is supported on a single page. So if you add the chatbot also globally, then you will add multiple instances of the chatbot, which is currently not supported. So be sure if you are adding chatbots on pages, turn off the global um, addition or turn it on and uh, set URLs where to not show the chatbot, set the URL where you added manually the chatbot. So you can add each URL on a new line here. So if you want to add globally the chatbot on some pages, this will be possible and then add the chatbot on some pages in his shortcode format and be sure to um, skip the global chatbot appearing using this do not show the chatbot globally on this URL settings field. Okay, so I hope this uh, um, helps you guys how and allows you to set up multiple chatbots on multiple pages. So Carl and Francis will be able to, will be here and will be able to help the users from your site. If you have more questions uh, or anything you want to tell me, let me know in the comments of this video. Aematic is linked in this video description. Thank you once again for watching this video until the end. This is all for today. Please like, share, subscribe. It's really appreciated. Until next time, bye-bye.